Hey traders! In today's video, I will show you a super easy and yet profitable 5 minute trading strategy that you can start using right after watching this video. We will only use two exponential moving averages and the stochastic oscillator, so if you are new to trading, this strategy will be perfect for you. Don't worry if you don't know anything about these indicators, I will explain everything one by one. But before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more trading videos. It keeps us motivated to upload more content. Before you ask, let me answer some questions. Since we will use the 5 minute time frame, this strategy is more suitable for day traders. But don't be shy to back just different time frames. Also, if you are not comfortable trading lower time frames, you can check out our previous videos for profitable swing trading strategies. In this video, I use this strategy for forex trading, but it can be applied to all instruments such as stocks and crypto. After you test it yourself, let's start. As always, we will open tradingview.com. But feel free to use any charting software you want. You don't have to take notes while listening, because I will share all of the changes in a minute. First thing we should do is to click on the time interval button here and change the time frame into a 5 minute chart. Then, we will add the indicators that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. To do that, we will click on the indicators icon here, and add the stochastic first. We will use the stochastic with its regular settings, which are 14, 1, and 3. The stochastic oscillator shows the overbought and oversold levels, and it will give us the entry signals in this strategy, which I will show on example soon. Then we will add two exponential moving averages, and we will adjust their settings and color. We will change the length of the first EMA to 200, and the color to white, and then we will change the length of the second one to 50, and the color to blue. If you watched my old videos, you already know why. 200 exponential moving average indicates the long term trend, while the 50 EMA indicates the short term one. We want to be sure that we are on the same side of both the short term and the long term trends before opening a position. Perfect. Now, we are ready to search for entries. Before I explain the strategy, please let me share every change we made on the chart. Please feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot. So, we are ready to start trading. I am going to explain the strategy with examples. Let's start with some long setups. We should start by analyzing the moving averages. We will go long, only if the 50 EMA line is above the 201. Similarly, we will only look to go short if the 50 period moving average is below the 201. Because we want to be on the same side with both the long term and the short term trends, and we want to avoid ranging markets like this. Let's check this example. Notice that 50 period EMA is above the 201. So we will only look to go long. In our strategy, stochastic oscillator will give us the entry signal. To open a position, we will wait for stochastics to go at the oversold level. Be sure that both lines drop below the oversold level which is below 20. As you see, both lines are below the 20 level here. Now, we will wait for our entry signal. We will open a position as soon as both lines cross above the 20 level, which happens here at this candle. We will go long at the opening of the next candle. As usual, we will set our stop loss order as soon as we enter a trade. We will put our stop loss a little bit below the swing low. And we will aim for a 2 risk reward ratio. That means our take profit target will be 2 times higher than what we risk and we closed our position with a profit. Let's check for more entries. Since the 50 period EMA is still above the 201, we will look for long entries. Here you can see that stochastic lines drop below 20. Normally we would go long. But I wouldn't take this trade, because the price broke below the 200 EMA. It can indicate a trend reversal. In this example, we missed a potential win, but I recommend you to think twice if the price breaks below the long term exponential moving average. Let's check for one more long example before moving to the short setups. Notice that the short term moving average is above the long term one. So we will wait for stochastics to drop below the oversold level to enter a position. And we will go long as soon as both lines cross above the 20. Which happens here at this candle. So, we will enter our trade at the opening of the next candle. As usual, we will put our stop loss just below the swing low. And we will aim for a 2 risk reward ratio. Let me give you a quick tip before moving to short setups. This strategy is more profitable when there is a strong trend. So, you can use it to hop on trends, as it happens in this example. If you watched my old videos, you would remember that moving averages can act as support and resistance zones. As you see, there is a clear upwards trend here, and the price tests the 200 period EMA, 
it is the perfect time to enter a trade and ride the trend. So I will open a position, as soon as the stochastics gives us the entry signal, and we will exit our trade in less than 10 minutes. But don't be shy to move your stop loss to break even when the price moves in your favor. That way you can ride trends risk free, and catch huge price movements. Ok, let's move to short setups. Remember what I told you at the beginning of the video. We will only look to go short if the 50 period EMA is below the 200 period 1. This time we wait for stochastics to go above the overbought level, which is above 80, and we will enter our position once they cross below 80. Let's check some examples together. Notice that the 50 period moving average crosses below the 200 period 1 here. So, this time, we will only look to go short. We will wait until stochastic moves to the overbought level, which happens right here. And we will open a short position as soon as both lines move below 80. Just like the long setup, we will put our stop loss slightly above the swing high, and aim for a 2 risk reward ratio. We exit our trade with a profit after holding it for some time. This time, let's check an example with a clear downtrend, so we can open positions multiple times. Here, you can see that the 50 period EMA drops below the 200 period moving average, and the price also broke below the long term moving average. It indicates that the trend has changed and we will only look to go short. So we will wait for the stochastic oscillator to give us the entry signal. We got our first entry signal here since the stochastics moved above the overbought area, and came back. We will open our position with our stop loss just above the swing high point, with a risk reward ratio of 2, and we exit in half an hour with a small profit. Since there is a strong downwards momentum, we will search for more entries to hop on. And we don't have to wait too long for our second entry. Notice that the stochastics reaches the overbought level again here, so we will hop on one more time. This trade also ends up being a profitable one. Since there is a strong momentum, we will continue searching for entries. Notice that the price tests the 50 period EMA here, so it is a great time to search for possible entries. Stochastics move to the overbought area at this candle. So, we will open a position here. It is a great example actually, because price tests the 50 EMA line one more time before moving in our favor. So, we end up with an early entry. And the stop loss we set determines if it is a winner or not. A tight stop loss is triggered at the next test. However, if you give enough space for your trade to breathe, it can end up being a winner. It depends on how much you want to risk per trade. But since I told you to put your stop loss just above the swing high point, let's consider it a loser one. So we end up with two wins and one loss. Here you can take a screenshot of the cheat sheet to use while trading. Remember that trading is a probability game. You will have lots of losing trades, and your risk management skills and trading psychology will determine your profitability. If you are a beginner trader, you should focus on those two things instead of making quick bucks. Keep in mind that, consistency is the key to success in the long run. You don't need the most profitable trading strategy ever to make consistent profits. You just need an easy to follow strategy with great risk management skills at the beginning. Hope you understood everything. Please don't hesitate to shoot your questions in the comments section. I try to answer everything when I find the time. If you found this video useful, please consider liking it for more trading content. Have an amazing day.